I was thinking about the, the fact that uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I think the way we should look at Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving for thanks living, which means that we're giving thanks for not causing the pain, suffering, and death to any other living being that we can enjoy a truth, a truly thankful dinner, a thankful gathering. Because there's so much God has done for us. And if we think about it, if God's desire and his heavenly will is that there's no pain, suffering, or death, then the only one that would get pleasure in suffering and death is the devil. So are we at Thanksgiving when we celebrate with the cadaver of a once living turkey, the suffering remains of that turkey, are we actually giving praise or thanksgiving to the devil? I sort of think we are. Because if we're praising something that is counter to God's heavenly will, how can that be honoring God? It can't. So what's happening in this world is we're putting God, because of the corrupt way of this world, we're putting God in a position of being a cruel being because he delights in the death of animals. That's absolutely blasphemous. It's, it's phony. It can't be true because we're told that God's heavenly will is without pain, suffering, or death. That means it's true peace. And that's what we have to think about. You can't have a worldly evil and, and thank God for it. I mean, unless you like evil and you want to stay in evil, but I think most people would rather go to heaven where there's peace. I haven't heard very many people saying they want to go to hell. Well, why don't we think about everything that way? I mean, think about what, Lord, what the Lord says and taught us in the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Where? On earth as it is in heaven. Well, if there's no pain, suffering, or death in heaven, then there shouldn't be any on earth. Because... We're God's emissaries here on earth. We should bring his heavenly will to earth in everything we do. And that includes Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm having a lentil rice loaf with a barbecue sauce, and I'm having a stuffed butter, uh, butternut squash with apples and raisins, and we're going to have a pumpkin pie rice pudding, and we're going to have a bunch of other things. And we will enjoy our Thanksgiving, I think, even more so than anyone else that's eating meat. Amen.